Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today is a vlog about going to the dermatologist. I'm gonna take you along with me. I'll record as much as I can. I probably won't be able to record while I'm actually talking with him, but I don't know, I'll ask. Um, also, I am taking you along for two purposes. One, because I think the dermatologist will, is gonna be really interesting and I am excited to see just what he has to say. But also, some of you were very interested in how I navigate daily life as an amputee. And today, I've decided to go to the doctor in my wheelchair, just because it's gonna be easier. I won't have my four-year-old along with me. So um, I figured this vlog would kind of give you a little bit of an inside uh, view on how I, how I navigate life. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I hope it answers some questions, and I'm always open to answering all of your questions, so please leave anything below that um, pops into your mind. I hope that you guys enjoy this, and I'll talk to you soon. drive my car maybe that would be something that would answer some questions for people what I use right now is called a um, they're called hand controls and I use it's basically a bar connected to the sorry the gas and the brake so I use my left hand to control the gas and the brake and then I have what's called a suicide handle it's like basically a spinning ball and it lets me turn the wheel using just one hand I went into her office with a laundry list of little things I wanted to talk to her about. And the first thing I wanted to talk to her about was this, um, these little bumps that I have on my arms. They um, sometimes get a little bit red and they're just a little bit rough in texture. And so she suggested doing away with any of my delicious smelling uh, body washes and just going with something really simple. So she gave me a few samples to try. Um, one of her favorites is this Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash. It says, sensitive skin nourishing body wash, nutrient moisture, softer, smoother skin after one shower. So she gave me that to try. She said that simple is better. So um, she prefers something that is fragrance free, obviously hypoallergenic. She also gave me this Dove Beauty Bar to try. It's the same, um, same idea, just in a bar form. Then she also suggested moisturizing twice a day with a specific moisturizer. And the one that she gave me is Eucerin Smoothing Repair Light Lotion for Dry Skin. It has Ceramide 3, which it says enhanced formula, smooths, repairs, and hydrates dry, dry skin. And it's also fragrance free. So um, I will link that below if any of you want to check that out for yourselves. Um, it comes it comes in this light lotion, like in the bottle, and then it also comes in a more creamy formula in this tube. But they basically essentially do the same thing. The one in the tube is called Professional Repair Concentrated Lotion for Extremely Dry Skin. Same thing, just more of a cream. So it just kind of depends on what you prefer. So she said to use those moisturizers twice a day, morning and night, and that um, it will probably take a, a couple of months to see any change in the skin because it takes that long just for turnover, for cell turnover on your skin. So I will, uh, I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Another major thing I went in to talk to her about was um, adult acne and hyperpigmentation and fine lines. So her first suggestion was I need to change my cleanser. 
She is of the opinion that the expensive skincare lines are not necessary. She really likes the Neutrogena line and she suggested this Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser Foaming Formula and then she also gave me the Creamy Formula to try. So I'll link both of these below so you can check them out. So she said sometimes when you use a cleanser that's designed for acne prone skin, it actually dries the skin out too much and creates, so then your skin wants to create more oil which can actually promote more acne. So um, she, again, she just said keep it simple, keep it gentle, look for stuff that's for sensitive skin because there won't be fragrance and it will, it will always be hypoallergenic. The next thing she wanted me to do was change up my daytime moisturizer. She wanted to make sure that I was using a moisturizer with an SPF and she wanted to make sure I was using one that wasn't going to clog my pores. So the two that she gave me to try are the Cetaphil Derma Control Oil Control Moisturizer for acne prone skin with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30. It's non-comedogenic. So it's good for sensitive skin, good for acne prone skin. I will um, link it down below so that you can do your own research and see if it might be something for you. The other one she suggested is this CeraVe developed with dermatologist sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 50 with invisible zinc. It says lightweight and oil free, water resistant for 80 minutes with ceramides and niacinamide which are good anti-aging ingredients. She gave me samples for two different retinol creams. So the first one is Epiduo, it's ad Adapalene and Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. I'll link it down below again so you guys can do your own research. But the Adapalene is going to help with hyperpigmentation, smoothing fine lines, hopefully any texture issues. And then the benzoyl peroxide is going to help prevent um, future breakouts. So she wanted me to start with this Epiduo and see how I like it. It's a gel form. And she said to use this in place of my night nighttime moisturizer. So what she told me to do at night is just to cleanse with the Neutrogena cleanser. And then wait until my skin is completely dry. Don't tone or anything and then put the Epiduo on and she said just a little goes a long way so just like a dime size amount and then um, apply it all over the face especially in the areas where you feel like there's the most hyperpigmentation or where you're most likely to break out and then the next one she gave me is called Tazerac Cream and this one she said is a bit mo more moisturizing but most people have better luck with the Epiduo because it has the benzoyl peroxide in it, which is an acne medication. So after I used the Epiduo up, she gave me a whole bunch of samples. So after I use the Epiduo up, I'm supposed to switch to the Tazerac cream and see how I like it. And then I'm going to go back in two months and report back and she's going to take a look at my skin and uh, see if we need to change anything up. I'm gonna tell her which retinol cream I like the best, and then we'll go from there. I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope it was fun coming along with me for my little trip out to the dermatologist. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.